I want to apologize to my, you know, to the ownership, the GM, Jay Reese, my coaches, and most importantly, my teammates and the fans. Apology or not, Jaron Hosley is still in a little bit of trouble with the Giants organization because Tom Coughlin made it clear he's not at all happy with having to deal with the second drug suspension of a member of his secondary in the last week. When you run a business, you have to be able to rely and depend on people to be there when you need them to perform their duties. It's a sad day for both of those guys. From my standpoint, uh, the whole organization is disappointed that uh, that it went that way but unfortunately it was the right thing to do it's too easy to do right you know to keep doing wrong so that's something that that we don't need around here you know we don't need to have uh you know that pub you know guys sitting up on twitter you know saying what's going on you know what's up with the second day this that and the other and uh, i mean it's, it's, it's a bad reflection i mean it doesn't look good Jaron Hosley isn't a major player in the Giants secondary. He's probably only the fourth or fifth cornerback on the depth chart. But the loss of him for four games, coupled with the loss of safety Will Hill, who was cut after his third drug suspension, is a major hit to a secondary that the Giants spent millions of dollars on rebuilding. More importantly, though, as Antrell Roll said, with Hosley standing right next to him, waiting for his turn at the podium, it's an embarrassment to the Giants organization. Clearly, this isn't the image they want to portray, and this problem is something they really need to nip in the bud. With the Giants, Ralph Bacchiano, SNY.